guys, welcome back to my channel. This video was originally going to be part one of my Sephora sale haul, all the things I picked up. Um, it was going to be part one because I'm still waiting for a few packages because I have a problem. But then I realized I have so much more things that I purchased recently between like Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty and just other things I picked up that was like on major sale. So I figured we would just do a huge sale haul all things that i purchased recently i personally love makeup hauls they're my favorites i love old school youtube videos like hauls and get ready with me so those are just like my favorite if you guys want to see what i picked up recently then please keep watching so i figured we would start with sephora since that's where i have most of the things i am still waiting for one more package so i will probably make a part two the first thing i got was this jisoo this hair set it comes with a hair mask a hair oil and a hair perfume i originally got this because i really wanted to try the hair mask and i also heard such good things about the oil but it's pretty pricey so i ended up getting this set just to see how i like it that way I'm not wasting a ton of money on the full-size products. I can see what I think about it first. The second item I picked up was, was the SPF Best Sellers Starter, Ki Starter Kick. Why can't I speak? The SPF Best Sellers Starter Kick kit from super goop and i originally picked this up from a tiktok there was this tiktok page i don't know remember i don't remember the name but they were testing out all different sunscreens and seeing which one had the most oil like they would keep it like on a blotting paper and just like wait 24 hours and this literally had like no oil in it so i was like let me try it. and then all the reviews said it was like amazing so three of their products it comes with their everyday lotion their glow screen and their unseen sunscreen and i need to be better about wearing sunscreen because um i go walking every day and i don't wear any sunscreen on my face the next thing i got was from charlotte tilbury this is their setting spray it went like viral on tiktok and i wanted to give it a try i got the mini size because um it was cheaper so let's go ahead and spray my face actually because i didn't set my face i sometimes forget to even set my face okay no weird smell strong mist we shall see how it lasts all day today's supposed to be like 85 degrees um i'm gonna go outside and water my garden so we'll see the next item I picked up was the Dior Forever Skin Glow. I'm actually wearing it today. I did a spring makeup look and I wanted to try out a new foundation so I did use this one today and I love it. My skin looks very skin-like. I mainly picked it up because I love the concealer so I wanted to give the foundation a try and I really really like it. Um, I don't think I love it more than the concealer though like if I had to choose one like i can't live without that concealer i can live without this but my skin does look really nice the next item i picked up the dior concealer the one i was just talking about um i have it already but i wanted to stock up on it because i really love it that much i really love it a lot Okay, the next item was Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude Lip Liner. I love this lip liner. This is a repurchase for me. I've had it a long time ago, but I lost it. And yeah, I wanted to pick it up. The next item is from Drunk Elephant, which I which i've never actually bought anything from them before. I've tried their skincare, like their samples before. It was okay. I don't, I don't really think I've tried anything life-changing. And I feel like this may not be life-changing either. So this is the Drunk Elephant Anti-Pollution sun, Sunshine Drops. I saw this on TikTok and I saw people use it contouring. And it looked beautiful. It looked very skin-like. It says you're really supposed to include it with your skincare, like your serum, to just give you like a bronzy glow. I did try this out on my Instagram reel already because I just like couldn't wait. And I've been making like Instagram reels a lot and i like it i think it gave me like a really nice glow um did i love it not really but i only used it once i didn't try it with my moisturizer or anything like that um i really just applied it to like the areas i'm trying to like bronze up my face um i don't know i have to play around with it some more the next item was from, is from Rare Beauty. This is their Dewy Liquid Blush. So this is in the shade Happy. It's really beautiful. I did use this already. The next item I got is the Hourglass Makeup Brush. This was the most expensive item I got. Normally, I would never spend this amount of money on 
like a brush, but SML at Zero always talks about this brush, and honestly, I've been wanting it for a long time, so I did pick it up. Ooh, it is super soft. I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna see if it's really worth the money and let you know. Then I picked up by Ilya. This is their Night Light Bronzing Powder. I love this bronzer. I'm actually wearing it today. It's very beautiful, very, it's perfect for when I am tan. Um, it's very, it has a really nice undertone, no red undertone. I have it in the shade Novelty. I used it today. I love it. The last thing I got, which is super tiny, I know I purchased the mini. I just didn't really think it was going to be like a sample size. I thought it was a free sample at first. I didn't know it's what I ordered. This is by Polish Choice. This is their exfoliate serum. I wanted to try this because people have been saying this like literally removes your pores. And and if you guys have been following me for a while, I have pretty large pores in between my brows and nothing really makes it go away in my opinion. I feel like it's just always going to be there. I just cover it up with makeup. Um, but a lot of people said that this really removes them. So, so I've not tried this yet. I'm going to do my skincare tonight. I'm going to use this tonight. Hopefully I can see a difference in the morning. Um, there actually is something that made a difference in my skin overnight, I will not lie. That is everything from Sephora. I will do a part two when I get my package. Let's move on to Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. This is something that I actually notice a difference in my skin the next day. I got the Philosophy um, Hope in a Jar Moisturizer. I used this two days ago and I woke up and my skin was glowy. And it wasn't glowy where like, you know when you sleep with a thick moisturizer and you wake up and you look kind of oily and you just need to use like uh, micellar water to like, you know, get it off. This actually made my skin look hydrating and glowy. And I only used it once so far. This literally made my skin look glowy, so. Um, yeah, I got this from Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty, and I really like it even after one use, which I normally cannot judge a moisturizer after using it only one time. Like, you can't. How can you judge a moisturizer using it only one time? But I will say I woke up and my skin was super glowy, and that has never happened to me before with any moisturizer. The next item, I actually I got two of them. This is from St. Tropez. This is their self-tan purity water, um, their bronze and water face mist. I got two of them because... They're $30 and, and these are so freaking tiny. So I got two of them because they were 15 bucks each. Thought it'd be better to stock up on it just in case I loved it. And if I didn't love it, I would just return it. So um, quick side note, I love it. I used it last night on my face. Look how tan my face is. Then I actually did self tan. I used my Bondi Sands on the rest of my body because I was a little nervous. My face was gonna be super tan and my body wasn't. I used the self tanner on my body and it matches perfect to my Bondi Sands. Um, my Bondi Sands one I really like. I use it on my face too sometimes. I just feel like sometimes on my face it can get a little weird by my mouth, um, by my like my pores. I feel like it kind of makes me look a little dirty on my face where it doesn't do that to my body. Um, so I wanted to try this out because I just heard amazing things about this. If you guys want to see like a quick review, follow me on Instagram. I did post a IG reel of me using it and then the next morning, which was this morning, so I filmed it today. Um, and yeah, I really love it. I, I just hate how small it is. I feel like I'm going to go through this so quickly. I know a lot of people will just use this at the end of their night after their skincare. I may even use it again tonight, but it made me super tan. Like I am so tan. Um, my Dior foundation that I that I used today, it's actually a darker shade than normal because I wanted something for the summertime and it matched perfectly because I'm super tan. I also got Too Faced Peach Palette during their 21 Days of Beauty, but I actually ended up returning it. I don't know, I feel like I always wanted the peach palette, but then, then when I had it up close, I feel like there was nothing special about the colors or anything. Like, I don't know, I just feel like it wasn't even worth, it was on sale for like 25. I feel like it wasn't even worth my 25. So I ended up returning it. The last thing from Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty, which, which is probably one of the most expensive items, retail price. This is the Bobbi Brown Enriched Face Base. I feel so bougie even showing you guys this because when I first started like watching YouTube videos, I would watch like Nicole Guerrero, Carly Bible, especially Nicole Guerrero. She, I feel like used this in like every single video, every single get ready with me. And I just wanted it because she had it. You know what I mean? You know when you watch those YouTube videos and you're like, oh, I want that. She has it and she loves it. So I want it. But it's so expensive. It's like $80 or something. So this was 50% off at Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. So I did pick one up. I know some people picked up like two of them. They like stocked up. I didn't want to pick up two because 
I mean, it was still like $30. That's like a lot, like 60 bucks. So this is actually a primer. So I was a little like weirded out, not weirded out, but I was just like, hmm, how am I going to use it? Like people say it's a moisturizer, but a primer. And I don't like putting a, I don't like using moisturizer before my makeup. Um, but this just had amazing reviews. People talked so highly of this. This has just been like a YouTube fave for like ever. So like when I saw it was on sale, I had to get it. I actually stayed up until like 2 a.m. waiting for this to go on sale because I knew it was going to sell out. And guess what? I woke up 8.30 a.m. It was sold out. So I'm glad I did pick it up. Um, yeah, I'm going to open it up really quick. Woo! I feel so fancy. I literally feel so fancy. Mmm. Smells pretty good. I feel like I smell like or I smell oranges. Mm. I'll let you guys know how I like it. I'm going to use it before. I'm going to do my makeup tomorrow and I'm going to try this out and I will see how it looks. Um, yeah, I'm just like so confused. Like people use it as a moisturizer. People use it as a primer. I'm just like, I don't know, but I'm going to try it out and I'm going to love it. No matter what, if I hate this, I'm going to love it. Okay. Because this is such an expensive purchase. We're going to love it no matter what. We're going to make it work. Okay. That's what we're going to do. All right. The last two sale items I got was from KKW Fragrance. Kim Kardashian is closing down KKW Fragrance. I think she's closing down anything that has that is KKW since she changed her name to Kim Kardashian. No longer West. I guess she's shutting down her website and she's having like 40% off her whole fragrance website. So I figured I would pick something up. I don't know. I haven't tried any perfumes by them. Um, I ended up picking up Wifey. And then I picked up diamonds from them. Um, I haven't actually even tested them out. Let me know. Have you guys tried anything from KKW Fragrance? What do you guys think? Let's see. This is Wifey. I thought it was super cute. And also, they really didn't have a lot on their website. So I kind of went with what I got. But I wanted something anyways. This smells... This smells expensive. Like, um, like an expensive type of perfume. Hmm. I don't know what I compare it to, but it smells really good. It smells very expensive, like a high-end perfume. I can't even get this out of the case. It's dug in there. I'm going to have to get like a knife or something. Um, but I'll, I'll let you guys know what I think in the description box. So this is all my recent purchases. This is like my sale haul. These are all the things I bought recently that was just on major sale. Make sure you guys check out KKW Fragrance and see if you guys can get your hands on anything. Um, yeah, 40% off site wide. And I definitely feel like as things are like not selling anymore, I feel like she's going to go down to like 50%, 60%. Um, but I do feel like things are selling. So I don't know if I would wait if I was you um because they really didn't have much on this site when i shopped the 40 percent off so right now it's still on sale so make sure you guys check it out if you guys are interested um just in case you ever wanted it i mean i never really said like oh i want one of those but i'm a sale girl i don't know something's on sale and i have to have it <laughs> It's a sickness. It's a problem. I know. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was so much fun filming. It was so much fun shopping. It's not fun looking at my bank account. That's definitely not fun. It's also not fun looking at my Afterpay account. Afterpay is the death of me. Just saying. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. I'm on my own, broken alone. I feel the rain crashing down all around this empty.